that? Hello? Hi, uh, um, I just hit a dog on the roadway there. Um, I'm just wondering if it's yours. Oh my God, what's it look like? Um. All right, Mason, let's see how many marshmallows you could catch in a row without dropping one. All okay, right. let's get it. Let's get it. You got this one. Yes. Oh! Yes, come on. Oh, oh okay. okay. All right, this one's it, baby. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he coming over right now. I'm trying to tell you I don't trust his ass. Yeah! I'm going to go to the kitchen and make me a sandwich. What they do. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if he's trustworthy or not. Leave now. Told you I didn't trust his ass. MacBook Pro that I won from this one email I got until I heard a knock at my door. I was feeling a little bit scared because it was 3 a.m., but I remembered I gave them my social security number, so that means they're gonna keep me safe. I was gonna go turn my computer off and head upstairs to check the door, but it said that a virus was shutting it down for me. Now, I don't want the coronavirus, but if it's gonna start doing things for me, well then, homegirl can like get it. I crept upstairs so I wouldn't wake up my dog, and I opened up the door, blank, there was no one there. Then I heard a weird sound come from downstairs and saw that my computer was on. I'm like, I thought Miss Corona turned it off. There was a message on the screen from a hacker saying, I'm watching you. I started screaming because I don't know how to process conflict any other way. But then I was surprised to see a message that said, your outfit's cute. Listen, I'm so starved for human attraction that we fell in love. I'm Ben and you're watching Hack Into My Heart, the new reality TV show on TLC. Yeah, this is wild. Hey, I'm gonna wash my hair real quick. All right. So in an effort to slow the spread of this virus, we have made the decision to shut down most businesses. That is a good decision. We're going to save so many more lives that way. Thanks so much for your cooperation during this time. So I'm assuming that means we won't have to pay rent and that we'll get money for food, correct? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, you, you still have to do all that stuff. But how am I supposed to do any of that if I'm not able to work? Like, shouldn't you help us out a little bit? I mean, that's a little out of my jurisdiction. No, that's entirely in your jurisdiction. Okay, crybaby, we might give you like $1,200 a month, all right? Is that enough? I mean, no, I have three children and my rent already costs more than that. How are we supposed to survive off of- Oh, we, oh, we, I'm not gonna be able to feed my children and we're gonna have to live on the streets, ooh. Bro, <laughs> get over yourself, honestly, okay? Last week, I made a million dollars instead of $10 million. You're not the only one going through something. Wow, this the White House, White House. Where is my virus check, good buddy? This gonna go from Washington, D.C. to Washington, S.C. for stimulus check. I need to get paid, bucko. After I get this check, I'm finna get a virus on my computer so I can get another check. Check, man, check, man. Yeah, that's me. This gonna go from the White House to my house because I ain't gonna have nowhere to stay if I don't get my check. I had to come all the way to Washington, D.C. just to see where is my check. I'm finna hop this gate to let them know I ain't playing. No, that ain't the move because it's gonna be. Guns, guns out here. Trump need to look out the window so I can tell him he can just write me a check for 20 million. That'll hold me over to my other check, huh? They trying to get the best of me. I need my check. I'm finna tell them they ain't got to mail my check. I came to get mine. It's wicked out here. This behind me. They need to hurry up with my check so I can put a down payment on the PlayStation 5. I need to knock it off or I'm going to have five reasons I can't pay my rent. I know they probably busy, so they need to let me come write my own check for one trillion and then I'll be on my way. Give me a break, good buddy. I got the scope aimed right at your head. You can't see me, but I see you, and I'm blasting shots. Headshots only. I'm locked and loaded, nigga. Oh, you think it's a game? I'm about to send you straight to the gulag, homeboy. Hey, what it is? What's good, yo? Hey, just trying to pop in and say what's good to all the people that are staying home during the COVID-19 coronavirus bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We gonna beat this. Now, I mean, we gonna flatten the out of this curve together, you and me, because we the real heroes. See, because I got a cousin. Who thinks it's okay to have social gatherings with 10 or more people in? I said, man, you gonna get sick, my dude. Sure enough, he done called me yesterday. Said, man, I got the COVID-19, dude. I said, that's your own damn f stupid mother. 
I'm telling you, man, the worst part about it is his irresponsible ass. He don't live with our great grandma. See, she got that upper respiratory, upper respiratory, she, she, she gets colds from time to time. So she, she what they call at risk. See, he, he don't care about that. But he, she pushing 115 years old. He going to kill this. I'm just saying, stay inside. All right. Coronavirus. Fuck that COVID-19 and 2020, y'all. <laughs> Show me your favorite hat. Your most expensive hat. Your most recent hat, your biggest hat, your smallest hat, the hat you hate the most, your favorite color hat, your cutest hat. So I was busy trying to carbonate milk with my mom's soda stream and make milk soda when my friend who lives in a different city texts me, come here now. I get really scared when people send a text and end it with a period. So naturally I ignored the text and laid in bed and stressed about it until 30 minutes later when they texted me again. I checked the text and it said, it's an emergency. And I was like, uh, emergency? It's emergency. Just like call 911 or something. But then I thought, uh, maybe they're like hamster died or something. So I got up, got all the way in my car, turned on some Harry Styles. But then after 20 minutes of driving, I had to pull over because I was crying too hard. Sometimes when I listen to a really good song in the car, I kind of lose track of how fast I'm going. So while I was in the middle of vibing, um, I saw flashing lights behind me. But then I remembered getting arrested is a choice, and today I choose not to be arrested. <laughs> so it turns out that's actually not my choice, but I can get these really cool mugshot pictures out of it. Jeremy! What? What's up? Why are you just standing there like that? Ben. Ah! Oh my god! Alright, mom, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to separate the salt from the pepper. If you do it, I'll give you 20 bucks. Ooh, okay. Alright, go. Salt from the pepper. Did you really think I wouldn't get that, Brent? I haven't had my period since this whole pandemic has started. Is this a conspiracy theory that the government controls our cycles? Hmm? Because it makes sense. It does. That's why there's never been a woman president. But golly. And that is just a theory. A game theory. So. Oh. Time to go to work. You can't beat me in this, bruh. <laughs> Run it back. You can't beat me. There's your trap. Oh, sh what time? Is it 2 o'clock? Okay, I have a call. Shh. Stop. Seriously. Hey, team. How are you? Oh. What are you? You go first. Yeah, yeah. Can you not hear me? Can you? Yeah, we got a lot of, we got all my roommates here on the Wi-Fi. It's just kind of, I'll get that to you by EOD. You got it. You got it, boss. No problem. Love you. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, bye. Got it. <laughs> Packed my lunch today. I don't know. Just kind of, it's a routine. I just did it out of habit. Thanks for jumping on the call, everyone. Um, I know everyone's working remotely. Hey, you working remotely or remotely working? I said, I said, are you working remotely? I will reach out to them, make sure we're kind of all aligned on the same page, and then I'll try to get that by the end of the day. Uh, guys, really quick, I'm getting a weird, just give me a sec. Dude, stop. I have to do this. We're making it work here at the Casa. Things are good. You, you guys be happy to know we're also a paperless office over here. <laughs> yeah, no toilet paper. <laughs> Can she not hear me? Can she not hear me? Stupid old boomer there she is hi diane okay great so i just want to kind of run through oh, by this week that's going to be tough for us we don't have a lot of bandwidth for that but maybe next if that's cool did you just use the word bandwidth shut i'm wor i'm working what are you doing what have you done today i clipped eight of my toenails today two left we're stuck in here together aren't we i hate you we're gonna fight by the end of the month we will fight good talking to you sir we value you as a new client good to meet you Bye bye and you got a meeting at 11 and Nothing else to do for a month? I No, you you have to... I, I don't think your camera's on. You have to press... Do you see the button there? I gotta send my boss every day a list of the things I accomplished. So, help me out here. If it was real, I'd put... Watched four episodes of Teen Jeopardy and took three showers. Now, you guys go ahead and play game. I gotta do the office happy hour. I'm gonna pre-game it. Another fun poem from my boss. Hey there, team. Best wishes to you all. Let's kill it for our clients and kill germs with Lysol. <laughs> Let me write one back. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I don't care about any of you. Highs and lows for the week. Uh, high would be just knowing all you guys are safe and healthy, right? And lows would be mute. Uh, frickin' doing this stupid... Huh? Oh, wait. That, that was my roommate. What, dude? 
We're doing a fun hot day at work. Just go go to your room or something. Yep, I'm on my fifth meeting of the day with my fridge. This vending machine rules. What do we got? Ready to set sail on today's tasks? Yeah. You want to play some Warzone? Cool. I'll put on the mouse mover app. Keeps me active online. You're still paying me. <laughs> Soon we'll have collected all the crystals and the Dark King will rise again! Are you my first boss fight? Yeah! Who are you? Someone who did all the side quests first. Holy sh! Crack TV prank on Brent. Um, Brent, I think I broke your TV. Huh? Well, does it turn on? I mean, I threw the remote at it. Why would you throw the remote at it? What is going on? Why would you throw the remote at it? Look at you broke the TV! This thing was like three grand! Dude, you're buying me a new one! No. Oh no, please. Oh no, stop! Oh, stop! Stop! It was a tickle! It was a tickle! It was a I woke up this morning after having a nightmare where zombie Shawn Mendes and zombie Camila Kabubu were trying to eat me. I woke up terrified and reached for my water bottle full of Red Bull, but when I looked in my hand, there was like some spot that I'd never seen before. I quickly searched to see what it was and it said that it was cancer, but like, I'm a Virgo, so that made no sense. Anyways, I was still a little bit spooked, so I sent a picture of it to my doctor, and then I carried on with my day, which was watching three seasons of one show and then playing 47 games of Fortnite until 6 a.m. But the next morning I woke up and it was like itchy and bubbling, and I was like, okay, this is a demon. And just then I got a text from my doctor and he was like, did you mean to send me a Roblox meme? And I was like, uh, oopsie. <laughs> so I sent him the actual picture and went back to bed. But when I woke up, there was like 30 more and I was like, ah, and I started crying and they were on my face too. And my doctor texted me that they were a flesh eating insect and I cried some more until one fell in my mouth. And it had a little crunch and honestly kind of tasted like bacon. So like I ate a few more and next thing you know, I'm spooning these bugs in my mouth like it's Lucky Charm cereal. Fellas, this gonna be fun. It's the Leo woman. You can't be a weak ass dating a Leo. Cause she's strong, she's powerful, and she's comfortable about it. Even down to her personal style, it's gonna be bold and expressive. So if you want a woman that's conservative, Leo ain't for you. Even though she's comfortable enough to let you take the lead, don't try her. Cause you might regret it. If you fuck up the money, the family, or the home, should take you out. You can't be boring. You gotta do something wild and crazy, something fun, or you gonna lose your Leo. The worst thing you can do is try to tell a Leo what to do. They hate that shit. Leo women have big dreams and inspire everybody around them. They don't care what nobody thinking of them. They'll be the only one clapping in church. And if a Leo wants you, she gonna come and get you. And she confident in bed, so you better be ready to put that thing down. She's not shy. She's loyal and she's generous, so you better keep that same energy. If you want a girl that's full of personality and enthusiasm, you might want to get yourself a Leo. If you have a dog, turn your volume up to see what their reaction will be for the following sounds. Or don't. I can't really tell you what to do. Hey, you guys, let's play guess the weight. Okay. Okay, so you're going to close your eyes and then guess the weight. Okay. Double tap on who you think will win, guys. I'm going to win. All right, Caleb, guess this weight. Okay, hold up. 20. Nope. No, 15. 15. All right, Peyton, guess the weight. Uh, 20. 15. <laughs> All right, guess the weight. Okay. Oh, 25. Oh, we got it. All right, Peyton, guess the weight. Oh, 25 or 30. 20. No, 20. <laughs> All right, guys, it's one to zero. First person to three wins. Oh, I'm a All right, Caleb, guess the weight. Oh, God, Dad, this is 
five. Hey! All right, Peyton, guess the weight. Ten. Oh! Hey! All right, guys, it's two to one. Whoever wins this doesn't have to do chores for a month. What? All right, guess the weight, Caleb. Okay, um, 15. No, 20. No. All right, guess the weight. Oh, five. All right, here you go. Okay, um, 30. You 30. got it. Yeah. All right, Peyton, here you go. Oh, 29. Nope, 30. That should count. Yeah. All right, so Rebecca is outside right now, and we're going to prank her because it's April Fool's. Hey. <laughs> So, welcome to Picking Up Girls with My British Accent, part two. Let's go. All right, I found one. Let's go see the accent works. Excuse me, love. You are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, What's your name? Thank you, my name is Whitney. What about Wait, you? Are you British? I am. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? what? Are you free right now? Do you want to go on a date? I'm not busy, no. You're not busy? No. All right, you know what, guys? Get this on the For You page and I'll record our date. This is life with Green Day. There's a suitcase and some dirty laundry. Donald Trump, we don't like you at all. We're never ever gonna build you a wall. Wake, wake me up when I come. Well, I heard you cry. Yeah. I've got a red tie. I don't like America. When September ends, do you have the time? It's 10:30. Thank you. On to the Aries, fellas. If you want a woman who's fun and have a whole lot of energy. The Aries woman is super passionate and she loves to create. So fellas, she ain't in all that fancy purses and designer and this, that, and the other. I mean, it's nice, but if you want to get them points, trust me, do something creative. An Aries woman needs a lot of attention. If you into playing your video games all day and you ain't giving her that attention she needs, she ain't gonna stick around. And she'll tell you like it is. If your socks don't match, if you need a haircut, if you got holy underwear, oh, she gonna let you know. And you can't talk down to an Aries. Unlike the Gemini, the Aries is physical. That intellectual connection, that ain't enough. She gonna need that thing. She loves to be in charge of who she is. So if you talking about her behind her back, I don't care if it's good or bad. Oh, she gonna feel some type of way. And Aries women are super independent. So don't ever think that she needs you or she can't live without you. She'll figure it out. Okay, okay. Fellas, let me help you out. And ladies, you can send this to your dudes if I'm right. Let's start with the Gemini. Fellas, if you get intimidated by intellectual conversations or a woman who might be smarter than you, you might not be ready for a Gemini. You can't get in their pants until you get in their head. She the type of woman that'll have a long, deep conversation with a complete stranger. Gemini women hate being put in a box. Even as I drop these traits right now, it's some Gemini sitting at home like, that ain't me. And they not two-faced, y'all. They just like chameleons. So don't be mad if your girl wanna express herself through acting or costumes or maybe even change her name. If you like that role play. Gemini women never run out of conversation. So if you the type that wanna sleep at night, they always gonna be one step ahead of you. No matter how good you look out here, fellas, if you ain't got it up here, you ain't gonna cut it with a Gemini. <laughs> Oh, honey, look how cute our kids are. Wait, 
Good, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>